Hey guys, welcome back to the lecture video. In this lecture, we will discuss Hadoop Data Storage and Hadoop Data Access Services. So, Hadoop Data Storage is a key function and we will discuss uh, Apache SDFS, which is a file system, Apache EdgeBase, which is a NoSQL database, Apache Kudu, a relational database. So, let's get started with SDFS. The SDFS is a distributed, scalable, and portable file system written in Java for the Hadoop framework. SDFS stores large files, typically in the range of gigabytes to petabytes, across multiple machines and data nodes. Data nodes can talk to each other to rebalance data, to move copies around, and to keep the replication of data high. As you can see, here we have the SDFS architecture. First, uh, there is a name node. The data replication takes place from the client. We write the data. It just gets stored on various machines. So that's what is and it is placed. First, we place the data on the rack one. Then on the rack two, we call the rack the machines where we place our data that called as rack. So the next is Apache HBase, which is a NoSQL database. HBase is an open source, non relational distributed data store running atop of SDFS, providing a fault tolerant means of storing large amount of sparse data. HBase is a column oriented key value data store and has been admired greatly due to its lineage with Hadoop and SDFS. It is, it is suitable for faster read and write operations on extensive data sets with high throughput and low input output latency. Next one is Apache Kudu, which is a relational database. Apache Kudu is an open source storage engine intended for structured data that supports low latency random access together with efficient analytical access patterns it bridges the gap between SDFS and HBase NoSQL database kudu tables pretty much look like those in sql relational databases to act as a storage system for structured data like rdbms principles Primary keys are made up of uh, one or more columns that enforce uniqueness and act as an index for efficient updates and deletes as a storage system for tables of structured data. The next is data access services. So what they are, let us see. We, we, we basically in data access services have Apache Spark, Apache Hive, Impala, Solar Apache Pig, Kite, MapReduce. So, first I start with Apache Spark. What what Apache Spark is? But before going on that, we will see where we are and what we are discussing right now. So we are discussing this part of the cloud era architecture. So let's get started with Apache Spark. So Apache Spark is, is basically an open source framework for machine learning and stream processing based on in-memory technology for data processing. It provides uh, programmers with the data structure called the Resilient Distributed Dataset or RDD and application programming interface. The RDD in, is read-only distributing multiple sets of data items over a cluster of machines with fault tolerant features. Next is Apache Hive. Apache Hive is basically a data warehouse software that facilitates reading, writing and managing large data sets that resides in, in distributed storage using SQL like queries. These structure can be projected on to data already in storage the command line tool and jdbc driver are provided to connect users to hive next is impala cloud era impala so impala is cloud era's sql query engine for data stored in an apache hadoop cluster and running open source massively parallel processing mpp 
Impala enables users to run low latency SQL queries on data stored in SDFS and Apache Edge Base without requiring additional data movement or transformation. Our next step is Solar. So basically Solar is a search platform for websites popular for enterprise search because it can be used to index and search documents and email attachments. It is built upon a Java library called Lucene written in Java and provides both a RESTful XML interface and a JSON API that are used to build search applications. Solar can be searched and indexed multiple websites returning content related recommendations based on the taxonomy of the search query. The next is Apache Pig. Apache Pig is one of the most important part of Hadoop. So Pig provides a high level language known as Pig Latin, a SQL like language with many built in operators for performing data operations such as joins, filters, ordering and so on and is used to perform all the data manipulation operations in Haroop. The component of Apache Pig is Pig Engine that ingests the Pig Latin scripts as input and converts the scripts into map reduce jobs as a tool it is very efficient reducing development and coding time as a platform it uh, adopts multiple query paths representing them as data flows to analyze large sets of data the next is kite so Kite is a high level data layer for Hadoop that provides an API and a set of tools to create logical abstractions on Hadoop on, on top of the Hadoop storage system, so called SDFS, and operates in terms of records, datasets, and dataset repositories. It can access Maven through plugin and aid in packaging, deploying and running distributed applications. It speeds up the development of stream processing ETL applications in Hadoop that, uh, that extracts, transform and load data into target repositories such as Apache Solar, Enterprise, Data Warehouses, SDFS, Edgebase and OLAP applications. The next is MapReduce. So MapReduce is a processing technique and framework based on Java for distributed computing. As the sequence of the name MapReduce implies, the reduce task is always performed after the map job. The map job usually splits the input data set into independent chunks. Splitting has taken place into where individual elements are broken down into tuples key key value pairs basically the reduce framework sorts the outputs of the map jobs which are then input to the reduce task the tasks are processed in a completely parallel manner to scale the scale data processing over multiple computing nodes the the input jobs and the output jobs are stored in a file system the framework takes care of scheduling tasks monitoring them and re-executing failed tasks the map reduce model framework can easily scale the application to run over tens of thousands of machines in a cluster through a configuration change. Basically, we have an input here. This is an example where we have our input file that consists dear beer river, car car river, dear car beer. So if first we split the data into key value pair like something, we just split the data according to the line. Here we are just splitting into the three parts. Then we list them 
we just map a key so the frequency of deer is one beer is one river is one in the first and the frequency of car is one again the next car type is one we then map this map we just shuffle them and join them what is the total frequency of car is so the total frequency of car is three in all of these three in, in in this file this is one two and three so the car is mapped to three and we just list them into a key value pair again which is our final result so that's how map reduce work it just takes the input it splits it map it reduce it so it is map reduce so in the next section we will see what databases are apache databases so as always thanks for watching